Hey guys, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome back to my Clicker Heroes 2 walkthrough for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Clicker Heroes 2. Just re rolled World 12 yet again. We are so close to getting our critical power surge ability here, guys. Look how close we actually are. One, two, three. So, pretty much, yeah, four levels off really when it comes down to it. Um, ideally, we're going to get that knocked out tonight. Either way, I'd just like to say thank you all very much for tuning into today's episode. I really hope that you're all enjoying the series still. If you do want to see daily Clicker Heroes 2 on my channel, please remember to show support by hitting that like and subscribe button. Be sure to leave a comment as well and join the Discord if you don't want to miss out on an episode. Links in the description below, okay everyone? Now, we are on the version 0 0.06 with a little 2 next to it. I guess this is the, the preview test build for the next patch coming up. Uh, pretty much I'm going to be a tester here to try and figure out if everything's working the way it should be. Right now, I'm just trying to think here, guys. We have Big Click still active, which is very good for us. Uh, always using Power Surge now as well. Our Click still 488% damage instead of just 100% when Power Surge is active. So yeah, massive damage boost, of course, thanks to Power Surge. Ideally, we should be able to smash through these levels quite fast. I just have to think on what exactly build we're going to do after we actually level up critical power surge here and uh, like unlock it obviously now there is a lot more automator stones available in this patch um as you can see there is a new one here stone power surge more than zero a stone that can activate when power surge is active see what i mean it's pretty cool dude there's like lots of changes um i will link in the description below all the changes made but i feel like yeah if i start explaining all of them will take way too long Generally, it's just like bug fixes and like little tweaks and edits to the available skills already. I think they have actually patched some of the more common bugs as well. I think there was a bug error 1000. A lot of people actually got that and I got that as well while I played the game. That's been fixed apparently. So yeah, hopefully the game will be more stable. That link will actually show you as well on how to actually uh, unlock the beta that I'm playing right now as well through Steam. I think it can be played on the standalone version as well. We just need to know how to do it. Ideally, that Reddit post will actually show you guys how to activate the patch as well. Um, as you can see, there is an experience bar on the bottom of the screen now as well. I do not believe that was added there before this patch now that I'm playing. Um, so that's quite helpful, I guess. Kind of reminds me more of a you know World of Warcraft style game there. You got the experience bar, of course. Um, I'm only using World of Warcraft because that's the only game I remember that actually has that bar that I played within the ring. The most recent of years. Um, either way, there's a clickable. Grab that quickly. The shop is available, but I cannot see the shop icon. So, all right, already we have some sort of bug going on. There's a shop here, guys, but I actually can't activate the shop. So that's just wonderful. Good start, very good start to the new patch testing here. I guess that's why it is a test version, obviously. Um, we did level up though, which is great for us. What can we do now? Where are we here? Equipment, helmets. Helmets multiply damage 150%. Yes. Thank you, game. So now we only have three levels left, guys. Probably get critical power surge. Cannot wait to actually get that bloody ability. We're on zone 14 right now, which is very nice. Let's see if we can keep this up, though, obviously. Should be able to really keep the damage up. Can't imagine why not. We're just running out of energy a bit faster now than usual. I'm a bit upset that I can't use the shop. That's very, very strange, isn't it? I'll try and read you out some of the changes that I do know about here. I've got the actual Reddit post next to me. So, yeah, we'll just go through that now quickly, guys, okay? Um, I wasn't going to read you out all of them, but I'll read you out the ones that I believe matter the most. Now, the automator apparently lets you re-roll the current world you're on once you uh, finish it. So that's pretty interesting. Um, we'll have a look here quickly. I'll show you what I mean. If you go to the automator tab... It says, when the world ends, do nothing. Uh, Rerun current world. Attempt next world. Attempt highest world. Do you see there, guys? How now the automator will actually play for you and, like, go through worlds for you as well. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I, I like that idea a lot if I actually use the automator. I don't use the automator at all, really, ever. Um, yeah, I, I'm more of an active player, especially for the series. If I wasn't recording a YouTube series, um, I'm sure I'd be much further than what I am now. But I like to... Uh, steady it out, guys, and play the game as it grows instead of just rushing all the way to the end. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Oh, there's some people that have actually finished the game now already. 
because they just blitzed all the way through. They dedicated all their time to just beating the game as fast as possible, but they don't realize this is a beta. So the game's actually going to keep on growing. <laughs> it's actually quite funny to me. Either way, we, we do have some new gear here as well. We actually have to level up quickly. Always trying to get that crit chance increase, by the way. Something you don't really want to miss out on. I'm fairly sure the only reason why I use the automator at this point in the game is to actually... Yeah, here we go. See this here? To always use big clicks for me. I want to turn on the automator, so big clicks is always an active stat. Um, so I'm so sick of pressing the button myself, so I just use the automator to actually press the buttons for me to use the buffs, of course. Seems to actually be working out pretty well. Now, um, let's see here. Completing a well... I'll read this out to you all. You ready? Completing a world uh, for the first time now also completes a run of every previous world. Upon completion, this awards experience as though every previous world had been run and reduces subsequent experience awards for all worlds accordingly. So that is interesting. It seems like if you beat a world, all the previous worlds will actually be conquered as well, if I am correct. Let's have a look here. Is that real? What the hell happened there? What's this? Okay, that was weird. That was very weird. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's go back to the worlds. So, worlds. Runs completed. Runs completed. Well, I don't know. They're still saying there's world XP available. So, who knows, man? I mean, does the game want me to rerun all the old worlds? Or who knows, honestly. I could just let the automator loose. But, yeah, that's interesting. I just read it out word for word there. So, take what you will out of that. For me, that really doesn't matter. So, I'm not rerunning the old worlds at the moment. But if I have to, I will, of course. Uh, there is some balance changes, apparently. Dashing during a multi-click now reduces remaining multi-clicks by 20%. Okay, interesting. Little multi-click tweak there. You gotta think, I'm I'm actually spec'd. Like, my gear... I'm not gear... Yeah, actually, no, yeah, I am specking my gear around it as well. But my build is to mainly support uh, the, the multi-click and big-click build. Seriously, I'm not even joking right now. That's the whole point, guys. I'm trying to really get into that build as much as I can. So hopefully they don't break my build with the most recent of patches. I'll be so mad. Alright, it's so knocking down these mobs here as well. Beautiful. Uh, critical power surge now increases crit chance by 1% for every second without first decreasing crit chance by 100%. Okay, well that doesn't affect me right now because obviously I don't have critical power surge. But probably when I do get it, it will affect me obviously. We are using over 11,000 big clicks right now as well. Not too sure if you guys have noticed, but I've actually disabled the uh, the the effects for spells. Because that's the thing that's crashing the game. Too many big clicks at once on the screen will crash your game eventually. Or bring it down to a snail's pace. So that's my tip for you. If you want no lag in your Clicker Heroes 2 journey, uh, at least for the, the current time, disable effects for weapons. Like, you know, like big clicks, obviously, the, the curse is coming down on the mobs. Uh, let's see here. Killing Frenzy no longer loses haste every second. Now simply lasts five seconds. Good move, game. Very good move. That didn't make any sense to why Killing Frenzy would actually run out. Um, so, yeah. Apparently it lasts five seconds. It's, <laughs> by the looks of it, it's just continuously rerunning itself there. Okay, I'm just looking here at the other changes. Click Storm and Variants, except Click Torrent, now get increasingly faster the longer they have been going. That is a good point. Why am I not using an auto attack storm? As you can see now, auto attack storm has like a one minute timer on it. And it actually will start getting faster and faster every time it ticks over. So if you have enough mana, I think, to support it, you can actually get really fast with that, maybe. I could be wrong, but yeah, we'll find out very shortly. Just knocking down the mobs here like they're absolutely nothing, by the way. Cruising through, lovely stuff. This is what you want to see on a run. I think the the cap for big clicks is still there though, or at least multi-click. I think we're only clicking 96 times still, guys. I kid you not. Which is weird. Very weird. Surely that cap's still not there, right? I reckon it might be, man. Legit, I think it is there still. Why when they why can that not be fixed? I mean, is it why is it so hard? 413 times I'm meant to be clicking. But my big clicks is only going down by 96 still. This doesn't make sense to me, does it? If anyone can enlighten me to why that's happening still, I guess is the game still not patched for that? Or am I misreading it, maybe? 
Uh, reload's base effect increased from 40% to 10%. Really? Okay. Be good if I actually had reload. I don't even have reload right now, I don't think. Didn't need it. <laughs> Kid you not, I didn't even need reload, seriously. Alright, we're in zone 41 right now. Very nice. Bruising through. What else we got here? Improved reload is now a linear 20% increase instead of a multi... Was it multiplicative? I don't know how to say that. Uh, 10%. So, that could matter to the people that actually have the skill there. Quick reload now reduces reload's effect and cooldown by 80% instead of 90%. Okay. Is that a little bit of a nerf there, is it? Must be. Reduce cooldowns on click and upgrade cheapest item automated gems. Alright. So if I use the automate, that would actually come in handy there. Just gonna keep on activating power surge. Power surge always has to be active, everyone. This build to actually work the way it's meant to, power surge always has to be active. Almost up to zone 50, guys, doing very well. Reduce cooldowns on. Oh no, I already read that. Reduce experience requirement of all levels by 800. Cool. A little bit of a nerf there to how much experience you need to level up by the looks of it. That will come in handy at least. Level out my cape now. The cape's going to give us the most damage, by the way. Looking pretty promising. Got to keep using big clicks here. Why isn't big clicks being activated by the automator right now? Is automator off? It is too. Make sure automator's turned back on now. Ran out of my big clicks. Decrease bonus gold chance by half. Okay, so another nerf there to bonus gold chance, I guess. Let's go down. Bug fixes. I guess I can read them all out now. Uh, fix the bug where buffs could gain extra ticks at the end of their duration. That, I don't know, is that fixed or not? Because I actually have watched my cooldown counter go up. I actually gained seconds on my cooldown counter, I kid you not. I mean, maybe that wasn't on this patch, I'm not too sure. Who knows, dude. Either way, this boss is getting absolutely crushed right now, by the way. So that's good. Just leeching a bit of energy here. Nice, he's almost dead. Yeah, we got him. He's over. See you later. Level 50 boss is down. Uh, fix the bug that caused Hero to run in place for all eternity. That's happened to me before as well. A lot of these bugs have actually happened to me, funny enough. Another sword. Alright, so we're going to have to sword. Excellent. is back and being active now. Good. Clickable Chance now does something. <laughs> I guess Clickable Chance never did anything. Uh, fix the error 1000 crash, which I said earlier. Ring upgrades and skill tree now apply to correct, what correctly to rings? I guess the ring boost didn't work properly. A lot of things were broken by the looks of it. This patch is needed ASAP. Fix the bug that was causing automated stones to take longer to activate er than earlier ones. Cool. Let me just make sure I'm actually leveling up all my gear correctly here. Power Surge is out. Gonna make sure Power Surge is active once it's off cooldown, of course. Turn off the Automator again. We have enough big clicks again to keep us going. Excellent. So we can keep the push going here, we should be okay. Fifty-six percent, or not percent, zone is completed. Wonderful. Just reading here still, guys, sorry. Um, fixed inconsistent naming between slots and key bindings. Okay, apparently some people might need to look at their hotkeys again. Interesting. I haven't really done any hotkeys, so that's all good for me. 
pumping through the levels here still, guys. Good damage being dealt across the board. Wonderful stuff. Almost up to zone 60. We go mana regeneration? No. Gold received increase, I guess. Awesome. Gonna level up my gloves as soon as possible, I think. They're very powerful. Activate the automator again. Just went for gold pile increase. That was a mistake. I, don't, I shouldn't have done that. I don't really care about clickables at all in this game. Only for the uh, ruby clickables, obviously. They're the ones that matter to me. So zone 60. Really just smashing this out now at this point in the game. Lovely stuff. What else we got here? Ruby purchase bag of gold now gives a minimum of one gold. Correct, because that used to give zero if I am correct there, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was bugged out, but yeah, now it's patched apparently. I don't know if I read that already. Uh, increase gold to give 10 times gold instead of five times gold to match the icon, okay? No worries. And there's some modding changes as well and some minor changes at the bottom there, but that you guys can read that yourself if you want. So that is on the uh, Reddit. As I said, I'll link it in the description below. And the comment section, and I've actually just leveled up there. Perfect timing. Thank you, game. What have we got here? Crit chance increase 2%. Two levels left, everyone. Fantastic. Then we can get our critical power surge. It's going to boost us a lot, damage-wise at least. Let's keep up the pressure here. Keep on pushing. Zone 64 now. It's funny because we're out of energy all the time, but yet we're still progressing. Isn't that hilarious, guys, how the haste build works? A lot of people doubt the haste build, but it does work, dude. You just have to give it some time and some faith, and you know what the hell you're doing with it. Very good stuff. Need to purchase a new sword as soon as possible, by the way. Very nice. 66 now. Boss is destroyed. No problems whatsoever taking him down. Uh, can I purchase a new sword yet? No, I cannot. Damn it. Come on, game. Stop being slack to me. Feels so weird not seeing those uh, big clicks curses come down on the mobs, but that's alright. Go for haste increase there again on the sword. So now we have the sword, guys. Gonna level up the sword straight away if I can. Excellent damage being dealt right now. 10,000 big clicks. Let's turn that off. So it stops leeching my energy. Lovely. Absolutely remarkable progression right now on World 12. So sooner or later, obviously, I think tonight, we'll jump to World 13, everyone, and take it on. It's going to be a big grind, but I'm sure we'll be able, we'll be able to beat it. Cape's almost at 100 here. I need to get that sword up. There we go. Nice, 73. Dude, the sword went from 12% to 73% in one 10 level upgrade. Remarkable damage there from that sword, seriously. 2% critical chance increase there. It's gonna help us out a bit more now. Cape is up to level 100. Can we push it to 110? That's the thing. Yes, we can, nice. All right, very good. Still building up on the big clicks here. Gonna get that 7,000 or so, I think. And we'll continue to spam. There we go. On a time zone for level 70 now. I'm just smashing it out as much as I can. Very nice. Almost up to that level 75 boss, guys. Getting very close. I was thinking, why is my energy so low? But then I realized Energize is actually off. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn... Do you know what? I'm going to get the Automator. I want to leave the Automator on to keep on turning Energize for me, I think, now instead of Big Clicks. I keep... Like, I literally keep forgetting about Energize. 
So we can, we'll make the automator play for us, eh? At least in that aspect. That's the cool thing about the automator, guys. I mean, you can just get to activate your abilities. And buffs, of course. Very good. Still just pumping things out here, like, big time. We're in world 73, so close to that 75 boss. Just gonna think, what am I gonna upgrade next? That's the real question now, isn't it? Ah, oh, look, the shop's back. Cool. Power rune, I'll get that. 100% damage increase for the rest of the world. Just to speed things up a bit here, I guess. Gotta make sure Big Clicks is active as well. Let me just chuck on this quickly. Hang on. There we go. Just to make sure my Big Clicks gets used. We have a lot of energy now as well, which is not good. Gotta waste a lot of energy. You don't ever really wanna have energy. No point. Just going for another haste increase there. Very nice, dude. Done. Alright, so that's done. Let's take on this boss. Here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him or not. He seems pretty powerful. He seems to be doing alright right now, at least. Let me spill up my crit. Big crit there, nice. Power Surge is active here as well. Should be able to do some more decent damage now thanks to Power Surge being active, of course. Very good. This boss is going down, everyone. We've done well. Doing very well. As soon as we can bloody activate our big clicks again. There we go. Should be able to drop him pretty fast now with this combo I'm about to do. Yeah, there's his health dropping big time. Look at that. Yeah, dude, that worked wonders. Good stuff. Pretty much all I did was activate huge click, use mana crit, and then use multi-click. Done. Okay. Loving out my gear. Beautiful. Heading now onto zone 100, guys. Slowly but surely here. It will get done, don't you worry. Automator is now turned on as well, just to activate, energize, and big clicks automatically. The sooner we get to zone 100, the better for us, though. We're gaining those extra levels as well to get us uh, critical power surge. For the later levels, we're going to need it, definitely. It's something that everyone's forgetting here. You need to get these, like, abilities as early as possible because they're going to help you out in the long run. Simple as that. Gonna wait to use anything. Can activate power surge again. Done. Okay, good. As long as my power surge is on, I'm happy, dude. Simple as that. Level up the boots. Beautiful. 20 levels left almost here, guys. Just to uh, yeah, chose a 2% increase to critical chance instead of a 10% click damage increase there. Hopefully that worked out for the better. We'll find out very shortly. Seems to be working out pretty good, doesn't it? Almost done already, dude, on zone 80, timed, uh, time level. Yep, done. Didn't even see the boss. Barely saw that boss at all then. Crushed him that fast. Bloody hell, game. You ain't playing around now, are you? Almost clearing the whole zone, man, in like a couple of multi-clicks. That's very good for us, obviously. Alright, guys, we're coming down the home stretch now, well 12. Uh, currently on zone 90. Gonna try and push through these weaker zones here, I guess, before we get to that boss. At the end of the day, this time zone is very weak compared to what we will be facing in the later worlds, obviously. Um, I am a bit worried, though, because I know that the game continuously gets harder and harder. But right now, we seem to be pulling our weight, which is good. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, though, I guess, on World 13. If I don't get Critical Power Surge, I, th I feel like I'm going to be screwed. Like, I really, really need to get Critical Power Surge. That's the end of the, the conversation there, really. Um, it's just only a matter of time. The problem is, do I re-roll the old worlds or not? Gain 50% damage and a skill point on level up. Cool. So you still get that damage increase, obviously, when you level up as well. That's pretty sweet. I actually didn't even know that you get that damage increase, guys. 50%. Pretty interesting when you hover over your mouse on things, eh? The tool tips that come up, they do help. Alright, so zone 92 almost here, guys. 
Once we drop this damn boss, gotta make sure I have all my abilities active here. Big clicks needs to be on, of course. Could have sworn I had the automator on, but I guess I turned it off. Let's reactivate that automator there. Alright guys, building up now to that zone 100 boss here on world 12. Ideally we should be able to knock it out in the first attempt. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I know. As long as I have my big clicks built up though, I reckon we should be able to beat him. We'll find out now anyway. I'm just going to continue to spam big clicks here as much as I can. Try and get it to 5k I reckon, just to be safe. Because without big clicks, we're kind of screwed with our build everyone, okay? So, yeah, big clicks is the reason why we've even got this far in the first place, of, of, like of course. Um, here we go, about to finish up on the zone now. I'm going to head to that boss, you ready? Get ready for this, guys. That's it, here we go. Building up now. Building up big clicks as much as I can. Going to turn off the automator here. No need to have the automator on at all. Let's do this. Let's try and beat down this boss in one shot, or at least one attempt. Can we get it done in one attempt? Maybe, just maybe, dude. We are beating the clock right now, so that's a good sign. Just gonna make sure Big Clicks is spammed here, heavily. Done. That's it. Boss is completed. Now what happens? Let's find out. Can we take on World 13? I reckon we can, guys. Alright, well look, either way, that's it, guys. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Ideally, we should be at least on World 13. Hopefully finished it, man, if all goes well. I want to keep re-rolling World 12 until we actually get Critical Power Surge, okay? Either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed. I'll catch you all tomorrow. See you around, everyone. See you later.